Here I'm going to show you how you can use any PC controller in Need for Speed Rivals or how to remap uh, the 360 controller if you have one. Well you need the tool X360CE which I'm going to include in the description. It's totally free. And the first thing you want to do is put the, all the files in the Need for Speed Rivals folder because otherwise it's not going to work. Just put all the files in there. Make sure the game is not running. Well, if it's running, then you have to quit it and restart it. I mean the game. Anyway, once you're in here, what I've done, well, I have a 360 controller, which is the first thing you need to choose your controller from the options. Now, settings database. This is the controller device. I can't select because I only have one controller connected to my PC. And this one, leave it as it is. It should detect it if you run it from the Need for Speed uh, Rivals folder. And then you go back to the controller. Uh, the reason why I'm using this is because I don't like trigger buttons as brake and acceleration. So if I push this analog up, that's what it does. I'm pushing this analog up on my controller right now. And it presses the triggers up, down. That's what it does. And I also remap the a which pushes this button and X which pushes this button so it's nitrous and handbrake on these buttons but yeah you can use any controller with it and uh, to re uh, remap the buttons I mean not remap to uh, but to map the buttons onto this controller you can use the record function for example I demonstrate you click on here just press this button on your controller you press the button you want to act as the back button well, I obviously press the same button because uh, I don't want to remap this. But that's how you do it. Once it's done, uh, also the D-pad. You have to select the D-pad from here because I first had the problem. I tried selecting the D-pad from here and it didn't work. So you have to first uh, select the D-pad from here and here you can remap the D-pad if you want. You can map these as buttons or anything you want. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to uh, press the save button, but just in case, just press it anyway. And that should be it. You're done with it. From these options, just uh, copy what you see in here. Hook mode disabled. Select all of these files. Just copy the settings, because this is a 100% working uh, settings I have. I've tested it and it works. But one of the problems, it doesn't work on 64-bit uh, game. So you have to run the game through this file. Originally it creates the shortcut into this one, but you have to delete that shortcut or not use it and run the game through this one, which is a 32-bit version of the game. 64-bit, uh, I don't know, it doesn't have any performance uh, boost or anything, so they're practically the same anyway. There's no difference in graphics or anything, so just use the 32-bit version and you're good to go. And it also works on any other game. I just specifically made this video about rivals because a lot of people want to use their own controllers instead of this 360. And then just close this window because you don't need it anymore. Uh, actually you have to close it because otherwise it might not work, probably won't work because you don't really need this file. Just close it and then run the game through this .exe file and it'll work fine. If you have any problems or questions, just uh, post them in the comments or post them on my forum and I'll see you next time.